Let's talk about cameras. I bet you guys didn't know I could juggle. My two go-to cameras for pictures and video are my Canon 5D Mark III and my Canon 6D. Canon DSLRs are amazing for taking pictures and the video is pretty awesome. I usually shoot on the neutral shooting color profile, but I also sometimes use different shooting profiles like the Technicolor Cine Style and the Vision Color Cinema profile. Those profiles just give you a flat look so it's easier to go back and color grade and post opposed to if you're using the auto picture profile. On Canon DSLRs you can shoot at 720p at 60 frames per second so you can get good slow motion so that's why I typically use these when I do stuff like weddings or anything I need slow motion for. However, it's 2016, other camera companies are innovating like crazy. Sony now has put 1080p at 120 frames per second in cameras like the Sony a7S, but people argue that Canon DSLR are mainly for photography, which is fine, but they're kind of slacking in the video department. When it comes to more of my documentary style shooting like Creative Spaces TV, I use the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras. I have cages on both of them so it's easier to attach accessories. When shooting with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras, I typically shoot in RAW format, which means it's basically taking 24 DNG files per second of video. From the pocket camera's SD card, I bring that through DaVinci Resolve, export it as a super flat image ProRes file, and then bring that into Premiere to edit. I love point and shoot cameras. Before I got my favorite all time point and shoot, the Sony RX100 Mark III, I did use the Canon S110. The S110 is an amazing point and shoot that gives you awesome quality video at a very, very cheap price. When it comes to audio, I'm usually going in between the Rode VideoMic Pro and the Rode Filmmaker Kit with the Lav. It's a wireless system that works so well, I cannot recommend it enough. I will probably make a video just about audio in the future. Audio is super important and there's a lot of different options out there. For these types of videos, I'm usually using one of my Canon DSLRs. For Creative Spaces TV, I use my two Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras. And for vlogging stuff, I usually use the Sony RX100 Mark III. I am obsessed right now with the Sony A7S's, A7S and A7S II. So I'm gonna try to get my hands on one of those for future projects because I've been renting them out and they're amazing. When it comes to making videos, Videos, obviously story and what you're capturing is the most important but the gear helps a lot I love talking about camera gear so let me know if you guys have any questions give me a follow on Twitter tomorrow I want to do a camera Q&A on Periscope I'll make sure to post the time in which I'm doing that you guys can log on ask me all the questions you want and I will try to give you my best advice expertise etc if you have not yet watched this week's creative spaces TV it's an awesome Awesome episode on the illustrator and author Becky Simpson so make sure to check that out if you have not yet let me know if you like this video I'm definitely gonna be posting more kind of behind the scenes stuff like this and then I'm also always posting about it on my Facebook page so thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know if you liked it hit that subscribe button if you have not yet and I will see you next week bye guys